I keep having dreams about his ex. For as long as I can remember, I've been searching for someone who feels like home. Someone whose soul clicks with mine in that way that makes everything around us quiet. Peace three months ago. I met my boyfriend, and although we've only been together a short time, he's become that sense of home for me. We're both young. I'm 21, and he's 22. Maybe that sounds too young to think about someone as a lifelong part, but somehow, with him, everything just feels right. It's as though I've known him forever, like he's a part of me that I'd been missing. We met on a dating app, something I wasn't sure would ever lead to anything real. You hear the stories, of course, but the reality of swiping left and right, judging potential connections based on a few photos and some quick, witty bio, never seemed like it could really foster a meaningful relationship. But when I stumbled upon his profile, something about him was different. I can't say exactly what drew me in. Maybe it was his warm smile or the kindness in his eyes. When we started talking, it felt natural, as if we'd skipped the awkward introductions and dived right into something real. It wasn't long before we realized just how much we had in common. We could talk for hours, lose track of time, and never grow tired of each other's company. Our sense of humor is perfectly in sync. He understands my jokes, and I understand his. We have similar tastes in music, movies, and even the same strange little quirks that only the two of us seem to understand. With him, I feel seen in a way I haven't before, and every moment we spend together solidifies how much I care for Even though we live over an hour apart, we've made it work. The drive seems like nothing when I know that at the end of it, he'll be waiting for me, his arms open, ready to make me feel like I'm the only person in the world. He's incredibly attentive, going out of his way to make sure I feel appreciated, safe and loved. It's in the little things he does, like the way he remembers my coffee order and brings it to me in the mornings, or how he always finds time to check in, just to let me know he's thinking about me. He treats me like I'm the most precious person in his life. And in return, I can't help but want to be the best girlfriend I can be for. But it's not just the small gestures. He's thoughtful, empathetic, and knows exactly how to make me feel special. I've never felt so cherished, and it's almost surreal. My friends sometimes say I'm living in a fairy tale, and maybe I am. It feels like I've stepped into a different world, one where someone truly cares about accepts me with all my flaws, and makes me feel beautiful, just as I am. And of course... Our physical connection is just as strong as everything else between us. There's a tenderness there, a kind of passion that feels rare and incredibly genuine. It's not just attraction. It's the closeness that comes from trust and affection, and it's something I deeply value. Yet, despite everything being almost perfect, I can't ignore the tiny voice in my head, the one that stirs at the thought of his past. In the beginning, I tried to tell myself it didn't matter. He had a life before me, just as I had a life before him. Both have histories, people we've cared for, and experiences that have shaped who we are. But lately, an unexpected feeling has started to creep in. A strange, unsettling insecurity. It's irrational, I know. But knowing that he's been with other people, that he's loved someone before me, stirs up an odd mixture of jealousy and doubt. It's not that I think he would ever betray me, or that he harbors feelings for someone else. But there's this nagging fear that... Maybe somehow I won't measure up, won't measure. And then, out of nowhere, these insecurities began manifesting in my dreams, twisting my subconscious into cruel scenarios. Almost every night, I find myself trapped in a vivid, uncomfortable world where his ex-girlfriend looms, a figure from his past that seems all too real in my sleeping mind. I'm not sure why this is happening or where it's coming from, but these dreams leave me shaken and vulnerable lingering in my thoughts long after I wake. I can't shake the images or the feelings they evoke, and as irrational as it is, a part of me feels haunted by a woman I've never even met. Even as I try to remind myself of his love and dedication, I can't help but wonder what these dreams mean. Why am I so deeply affected by something that, in reality, is no longer part of his life? Why do I feel such an intense reaction to a past I can't control? It doesn't make sense, and yet it's there, gnawing away at me, stirring doubts and fears I wish I didn't have. I know he loves me. He shows me every day in so many ways. But still, there's this lingering insecurity, this fear that somehow, I might not be enough. There's a piece of him that might still belong to someone else. In these moments, I tell myself that this is my issue, not his. 
I don't want to burden him with my insecurities or make him feel guilty for something beyond his control. He's done nothing wrong, and I don't want to jeopardize what we have with unnecessary drama. But as much as I try to push these feelings aside, they're still there, lurking in the shadows, waiting to resurface each night in the form of those awful dreams. Our relationship is still new, yes, but it feels like it could be something lasting, something real. And maybe that's why these feelings are surfacing now, because for the first time, I have something I'm truly afraid to lose. It's not easy, but I'm determined to work through it, to find a way to deal with this insecurity that's taken hold of me. I want to be the kind of partner who can let go of the past and focus on the present, someone who doesn't let fear stand in the way of love. But sometimes, in the quiet hours of the night, when I'm alone with my thoughts, that's easier said than done. Lately, it feels as though my mind is working against everything I know to be true about my boyfriend. His kindness, his love, the trust we share. It's twisted and tangled when I sleep. It's as though each night, a part of my subconscious wants to taunt me, to remind me of things I'd rather leave buried. Every few nights, I have these dreams where his ex-girlfriend appears. And no matter what the dream is about, she's always there in some haunting, unavoidable way. When I wake, my chest feels tight, my heart racing with that horrible, sinking sensation that doesn't quite go away even as I blink myself back into reality. Rationally, I know it's just a dream, but there's a fierce jealousy bubbling under the surface that I can't shake, a visceral reaction I don't fully understand. I know he has a past. We all do. But each time I imagine him with someone else, especially her, there's a hollow ache that takes hold leaving me tense, jittery, and filled with questions I'm afraid to voice. On Thursday morning, the dreams took a turn. It was early, just before dawn, and I was tangled in one of the most vivid, intense nightmares I've had. In the dream, I was bound to a chair, unable to move or scream. I could feel the harshness of the ropes digging into my wrists, holding me captive as if I were a prisoner. And standing before me was his ex-girlfriend, her face twisted with fury, glaring at me with an anger I couldn't understand. Her eyes seemed to bore into me, as if accusing me of something, and I felt a rush of guilt, though I had no idea why. You stole him from me, she hissed, her voice echoing in my head, filled with a venomous rage. You'll never be what I was to him. You're just a replacement, something temporary. Her words cut deeply, piercing my self-assurance and shaking the foundation I had tried to build. Then, in this twisted nightmare, she started hurting me, physically, emotionally, reducing me to tears, her taunts slicing through me with merciless precision. It was terrifying, a surreal feeling of complete powerlessness, as though she held my fate in her hands. And then, as if to further taunt me, she turned her attention to him. My boyfriend, the man who treats me like I'm his everything, was suddenly laughing with her, as though the two of them shared an unbreakable bond, one that excluded me entirely. What came next left me utterly shattered. In the dream, he moved toward her with an eagerness, a familiarity that felt foreign to me, like I was watching a different version of him a version that still belonged to her. I watched, helplessly, as she leaned into him, her touch possessive, her body close to his in a way that felt intimate, exclusive. He didn't just tolerate, he welcomed it. And the worst part? He looked happy, as if he missed her, as if he preferred her. She began kissing him, and he kissed her back with an intensity I had never seen. I couldn't understand it. This was a man who had shown me so much love, so much tenderness, and yet here he was, immersed in someone else's touch. The final blow came when she performed an act for him that I knew he didn't even enjoy. In the waking world, he'd always assured me that he didn't care, and I had believed him. But in the dream, he responded with a passion that made me question everything, as if there was some part of him I would never fully reach. I tried to scream, to call out to him, to somehow wake myself up, but I was mute, trapped in silence. I could only watch as he turned his back on me, choosing her over me, making me feel as though I was invisible. And then he said the words that shattered what little was left of my heart in that moment. I still love her. When I finally woke, I was soaked in sweat, my heart pounding as though I'd just run a marathon. Tears streamed down my face before I even fully realized I was awake, my body trembling from the intensity of the emotions that dream had stirred. It felt real, too real. For a few agonizing moments, I couldn't separate the dream from reality. I was left with a sense of betrayal that clung to me, 
even as I reminded myself over and over that it was just a figment of my imagination, my boyfriend stirred beside me, opening his eyes just as the sun began to rise. He looked at me, his gaze soft and sleepy, and his first question was one of pure concern. What's wrong? I wanted to tell him, but a part of me hesitated. I didn't want him to feel guilty for something he had never done, something that only existed in my mind. He reached out, pulling me close, holding me as though I were something fragile, something precious. His touch was comfort, grounding, but it couldn't erase the haunting images from my mind. I tried to compose myself, reassuring him that I was fine, but he could see right through it. He continued to hold me, whispering gentle words, telling me I was safe, that he was there. And yet, as he cradled me in his arms, a part of me felt ashamed, as though my own fears and insecurities had become a barrier between us, something I didn't know how to break down. As he got up to prepare for work, he kept glancing back at me, his brow furrowed with words. Before he left, he kissed me soft, promising to call as soon as he could. I tried to smile, to reassure him, but I could still feel the remnants of the nightmare clinging to me, shadowing my thoughts. The hours that followed were unbearable. I couldn't shake the feeling of fragility, of vulnerability. His ex-girlfriend, someone I'd never even met, had become this looming figure in my mind, casting a shadow over my happiness, making me question things I had never questioned before. Every time I closed my eyes, I could see her face, hear her voice accusing me, taunting me, telling me that I would never measure up. And the worst part was, a small, insecure part of me believed her. Throughout the morning, my boyfriend called me several times, checking in to make sure I was okay. Each time, I could barely hold back the tears, my voice shaky and uncertain as I assured him that I was fine. I wanted to tell him the truth, to share the turmoil that had taken hold of me, but I was terrified of how he might react. Would he think I was overreacting? Or worse, would he start to question things himself? When he returned from work around noon, I finally broke down. The sight of him, steady, Loving and so genuinely concerned for me brought everything rushing to the surface. I couldn't hold back the tears any longer. They poured out of me uncontrollably, each one a release of the fear and doubt that had built up over the morning. He pulled me into his arms, holding me close, letting me cry without asking any questions, just being there for me in a way that reminded me why I had fallen for him in the first place. As he held me, I felt a sliver of relief, a reminder of the reality I was living in, separate from the darkness of my dreams. This was the man I loved, the man who had never shown me anything but kindness, respect and devotion. And yet, as much as his embrace comforted me, the fear lingered, a quiet, persistent reminder that somewhere in the recesses of my mind, the insecurities I thought I had buried long ago were still very much alive. These dreams were wearing me down, stripping me of the confidence and security I had once felt in this relationship. And though I wanted nothing more than to make them stop, I knew that wouldn't be easy. Somewhere within me, there was a part that needed healing, a wound that hadn't quite closed. And until I figured out how to face it, I feared that these dreams would continue to haunt me, night after night. That night, the dreams returned more vivid and complex than ever before. In this latest nightmare, I was plunged into a strange, surreal journey, one that felt like I was being pulled through my boyfriend's past with his ex-girlfriend. It was like walking through an old movie reel, snapshots of moments I had never seen, but somehow felt painfully real. I could see flashes of scenes between him and her, intimate moments that seemed suspended in time, preserved like memories that refused to fade. In the dream, he and I were walking through this timeline together, side by side, but it felt like he couldn't see me, couldn't hear my presence beside him. I was an observer, invisible, watching him relive moments with moments that seemed to highlight everything I feared. The images flickered by like scenes from a film, moving seamlessly from one memory to the next, all tinged with a sense of bittersweet nostalgia. I saw them laughing together holding hands, sharing quiet, intimate moments that seemed so genuine, so real. I felt like an intruder, as though I were invading a space that didn't belong to me, a place in his heart that I wasn't part of. And then, one image stopped me cold. In this haunting dreamscape, he was kneeling down, holding a small box in his hands, looking up at her with an expression of pure love and devotion. He was going to propose, 
I could feel the weight of that moment, the sense of permanence and commitment he had once envisioned. My stomach twisted with a jealousy that felt raw and irrational. In that moment, it was like a part of me fractured, and I could feel my heart break as if I were living it firsthand. He looked up at her, his eyes filled with tenderness, and said the words that have haunted me ever since. I wish things had worked out with us. His voice was full of longing, of regret, a sentiment that cut through me like a knife. It felt so real, as though he was revealing a hidden truth, some unspoken longing he had buried deep within him. In the dream, I felt myself shrinking, fading into the background, as though I were nothing more than a shadow, something temporary. I wanted to scream, to tell him I was here, that I loved him, that he didn't need to dwell on the past. But my voice was gone, silenced by my own fears and insecurities. When I woke from this dream, it was as if a part of me had remained behind, trapped in that memory with the weight of it settled heavily in my chest, leaving me feeling exposed, raw, and painfully vulnerable. My insecurities, which I thought I had tucked away, were now laid bare, forcing me to confront feelings I'd been trying to ignore. I couldn't shake the thought. If he had once loved someone enough to consider spending his life, was it possible that a piece of his heart still belonged to her? Was I just a consolation prize, a second chance at happiness that might not measure up to what he had with her? What made it worse was that these feelings weren't coming from nowhere. His mother, who had once let slip that she missed his ex, had inadvertently planted seeds of doubt in my mind. Though she had since apologized, it was hard to shake the impression that perhaps his ex was still someone precious in the eyes of his family, someone who had once been woven into the fabric of his life in a way I might never be. I try so hard to be the best girlfriend I can be. This is my first serious relationship, and it means everything to me. I'm incredibly picky about who I let into my life. I don't give my heart easily, but with him, it was different. I didn't hesitate. I let my walls down, allowed myself to be vulnerable, to love freely and openly in a way I had never done before. And that's why these dreams hurt so much. They force me to confront parts of myself I don't want to see, parts that are insecure, fearful, and filled with a sense of inadequacy. The truth is, I've never felt this way before, never been so insecure or doubtful. I've always prided myself on being independent, self-assured, and unshaken by comparison. But with him, I feel a vulnerability that is unfamiliar. Fright. I love him so much, and that love makes me feel exposed, like there's something precious at stake, something I could lose. These dreams bring all of that fear to the surface, amplifying it until it's all I can think about, a cloud that lingers long after I wake. I keep telling myself that it's irrational, that there's no reason for me to feel this way. After all, he chose me. He loves me. Shows me in so many ways every day. He's never given me a reason to doubt him, and I know that logic. But love isn't always logical. It's messy, complicated, and sometimes painful. And in these dreams, logic doesn't exist. Only raw emotion, unfiltered and unrestrained. What makes it even more confusing is that I'm not angry at How could I be? He hasn't done anything to deserve my... These dreams are not his fault. They're mine. They're the product of my own fears and insecurities. Shadows of a past that I thought I had left behind. In these dreams, I am forced to confront memories of my own painful experiences. The remnants of an abusive relationship that left scars on my heart. My ex-boyfriend, who manipulated me, controlled me, and made me feel like I was nothing left a mark that I can't fully erase. These nightmares seem to mirror the psychological abuse I endured with the feeling of being unwanted, unloved, as though I were nothing more than an after. The echoes of that past relationship linger, and I'm beginning to realize that I haven't fully healed. These dreams aren't just about my boyfriend's ex. They're about the wounds that were inflicted on wounds that I thought were healed, but that are clearly still raw. Each time I wake from these dreams, I have to remind myself of the truth, of the love and safety I have now. I have to ground myself, remember that I'm with someone who would never hurt me, who values me for who I am. I repeat these things in my mind like a mantra. I am safe. I am loved. He is not going to hurt, but the fear is still there, lingering in the background, an echo of a past I haven't fully confronted. In the end, 
These dreams are forcing me to face not only my insecurities about his past, but also my own unresolved traumas. They've become a reminder that I still carry the weight of that past relationship, that the scars haven't fully faded, and that, deep down, I still fear being hurt, being left, being deemed unworthy. As much as I want to put it all behind me, it's clear that the journey isn't over. Healing, it seems, is not a straight path, but a winding road filled with unexpected twists and turns. I know I need to work through these feelings, not just for the sake of our relationship, but for myself. I don't want to be haunted by ghosts of the past, by fears that have no place in the present. And maybe, in time, with patience and understanding, I can find a way to let go of this jealousy, this insecurity, and trust in the love I have. But until then, I'll keep reminding myself as many times as it takes that I am worthy of love, that I am enough, and that he chose me, not as a replacement, not as a consolation, but as the person he truly wants to be with. After so many nights haunted by these dreams, it became clear that I couldn't keep pushing these feelings down. The weight of the jealousy, the insecurity, the sense of inadequacy. It was all becoming too much to handle alone. Each dream left me feeling more fragile and uncertain, creating a shadow over a relationship that, in reality, was built on love, trust, and mutual respect. But the line between dreams and reality was beginning to blur, and I knew that if I didn't find a way to address this, it could start to erode what we had. The question was, how? How could I bring up something so personal, so raw, without hurting him, without making him feel as though he was doing something wrong, when, in truth, he hadn't? These feelings were mine not his, a tangled knot of past trauma and lingering insecurities that I couldn't seem to untie on my own. A part of me wanted to tell him everything, to let him in on the depth of what I was feeling, but another part worried that it would be too much, that he would feel guilty or burdened by something he couldn't control. The dreams were starting to take a toll on me emotionally, leaving me feeling drained and anxious. I knew I couldn't continue living like this, holding on to feelings that were too big for me to handle alone. And so, with a mixture of fear and resolve, I decided it was time to speak to someone, my therapist. When I finally opened up to my therapist, it felt like a release. I shared every detail, the dreams, the haunting visions of him with his ex, the words that left me feeling vulnerable and unsure of myself. She listened patiently, allowing me the space to pour out everything that had been weighing. And when I had finally said it all, she looked at me with a calm, knowing expression and reminded me of something simple, yet power. Feelings, especially ones rooted in past pain, have a way of resurfacing when we're vulnerable. They're signals, reminders of old wounds that haven't fully healed. She suggested that these dreams might be my mind's way of bringing unresolved feelings to the surface. The past relationship that had left me feeling broken and unworthy had buried within me a deep-seated fear of being left, of being unwanted. And while I had thought I'd moved on, these lingering insecurities had found a way to make themselves known now that I was finally in a safe, loving relationship. Your mind is processing these emotions in the safest way it knows how, through your dreams. It's giving you a way to confront these fears without actually facing them in reality. Hearing that perspective was both a relief and a revelation. It made sense even though it didn't make the dreams any easier to endure. My therapist encouraged me to view these dreams not as a reflection of reality, but as a way of healing a way to face the remnants of my past without letting them define my present. She reminded me that I was safe, that I was loved, and that my boyfriend was not my ex. Slowly, I began to see that these dreams, as painful as they were, might actually be a step toward healing rather than a symptom of my own inadequacy. Armed with this new understanding, I felt a renewed sense of strength. And for the first time, I felt ready to open up to my boyfriend. I wanted to be honest, with him, not to seek validation, but to share this part of myself, to let him see the vulnerable pieces I had been hiding. One quiet evening, 
As we lay together on the couch, I took a deep breath and decided to tell him everything. I started by explaining that I'd been having recurring dreams about him and his ex, dreams that had left me feeling insecure and unsure of myself. I told him about the jealousy, the fear, the strange sense of inadequacy that had crept into my heart because of things I couldn't control. I made sure to emphasize that none of this was his fault, that these feelings were mine alone a part of me that I was working to understand and heal. His reaction was nothing short of compassion. He listened intently, never interrupting, his hand resting gently on mine as I spoke. When I had finally said it all, he pulled me into his arms, holding me close, letting me know he understood. I love you, he said softly, his voice filled with a kindness that soothed every doubt I'd been holding on to. I know it's hard to let go of those fears, but I'm here with you. I'm not going anywhere. Hearing those words was like a balm to my soul, a reminder of why I had fallen in love with him in the first place. This was a man who cared deeply, who wanted to see me, who was willing to stand by me through every difficult emotion I faced. We talked for hours that night, not just about my fears, but about his as well. He shared with me that he had once felt a similar insecurity, a fear of not being enough, a worry that maybe he couldn't provide the happiness he wanted to give. Through this conversation, I realized something profound. Vulnerability wasn't a weakness. It was a bridge, a way to connect on a deeper level, a path toward understanding and healing. In sharing my fears, I had allowed him to share his as well, and together we began to dismantle the walls that we had unknowingly built around our hearts. We promised to support each other, to be patient, to remember that love wasn't about perfection, but about acceptance, growth, and understanding. Since that night, the dreams have gradually faded. They haven't disappeared entirely, but each time one surfaces, I'm able to wake with a new sense of peace, a reminder that my fears don't control me. I remind myself that I am loved, that I am safe, and that I am enough. And I carry with me the memory of that night, of his words and his embrace, as a shield against the insecurities that once plagued me. In the end, I've come to see that healing is a journey, one that doesn't happen overnight but unfolds slowly, gradually, with each step forward. And though there will likely be challenges ahead, I know that I don't have to face them alone. I have him by my side, a partner who loves me not in spite of my fears, but because he understands them, someone who is willing to walk with me even through the darkest dreams. So, if anyone reading this is struggling with similar feelings, I would say this. Give yourself grace. Healing takes time, and it's okay to feel vulnerable, to have doubts and fears. Surround yourself with people who love you, people who will remind you of your worth, who will stand by you as you find your way back to a place of peace. And remember that love isn't about erasing the past. It's about building a future together, one filled with compassion, understanding, and the courage to face every fear that arises. Through this journey, I've learned to trust in the strength of love and to believe that no matter what dreams may come, the reality of our connection is something that can withstand any shadow. I am learning to let go, to accept myself fully, and to embrace the love that has been right in front of me all along.